There it is. I intend to summit that barn roof. They, of course, wonder what's going on, but I stopped to show you that here's my climbing harness, which I fully intend to use. Language, which she came over to say, are you sure you're okay with this? I am. Now, let's look at this. That first ladder will take me up to, it should have a name. I don't know that much about climbing Everest, but that would be your first camp. And that's an easy climb then up to the ladder, second, the short ladder, that will take me up to the base camp. And the base camp needs work, but it's good enough that it can be my support to make the final ascent to the uh, summit. Well, that was easy. Uh, here I am at base camp. This tangle of wires, strong wires, are gonna, I'm gonna, they, I, my life won't depend on them going up, uh, but they're gonna be the anchor for that rope which I'm gonna carry up, which I wouldn't need to if it were just a matter of the ascent. All right, so might as well enjoy the view here from base camp. <clears throat> I'm wearing my harness, but I'm not tied in yet. I got to keep that in mind. Let me see if I can turn around. Oh, look at my shadow. You can see what I'm doing. Uh, that's going to be the rope that I use to make the ascent. All right, now back to business. Well, this has been a misstep. I forgot to untie this down here, so I had to come back down. A minor misstep, but you know, when you're up high like this, missteps aren't good. So I'm going to untie this and go back up. Okay, I'm back up to base camp, and now I am tied in. So if I would pass out or something like that, well, that's supposed to hold me. What's going on here? That's not right. I better check that out. Maybe I went in backwards. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to check that out. Okay, that's better. Now, now it'll hold me. <laughs> I was in backwards. Not good. Uh, all right, if I, although if I were to fall up there on this side, I'd bounce a couple times before I hit the ground, which would help. All right. I'm ready to make my ascent. This is exciting. I'm about to go up over the summit. Uh, I pause. Coming up over that steep, I had to, you know, just use the rope to climb with. But I did have the, the belt on, not backwards this time. And I'm carrying with me a rope tied to my belt that I'm going to throw down the other side. So, let's see. Let's let's go on. Here I go. Let me pause to draw up the slack. No, oh, I'll pause, but this is so pretty up here. As I said, that's one of the joys of risking your life on a barn roof. You get to see the world from up here. Okay, here I am. I have summited the barn roof. Uh, I'm tied in this way. If I would go over the summit, I would have to use this rope that I brought up as my brake. And it is tangled behind me. I'll untangle it on the way down. I'm not going to go over to the edges today. This is, has been quite enough excitement. Uh, let me, instead of making the whole way around, let me, what a beautiful day. <clears throat> I was saying, let me just, just turn around back to where I was. There goes my neighbor with his trailer. There's the part of the roof that I haven't finished, but that's minor compared to being up here. All right, uh, I guess uh, I'll call it a day and work my way down. Call my pigs, put them over to the other pasture. 
Bye for now. Ah, back on the ground having summited the barn roof. This would be like, I guess, being in Kathmandu. Well, success.